Hi, my name's Amy Gibson. These are the Jesus interviews. I'm sharing with you the responses to my prayers. Today from Almighty God and Jesus Christ. As they speak to me, I write down their words, then I share these with you and with only the very best of intentions, ultimately for world peace. Um, this is just for conversation and contemplation, and this is not advice, but I do believe that the wisdom of God's coming to me, and I feel compelled to share these with you. Today, Almighty God said that he wanted to speak about this, the title of today's work and his words and wisdom, your kingdom. Almighty God said, the creator of the planet of Earth and all living creatures has made priceless miracles in each, and yet the current society has been misled over centuries by evil influences of deception to devalue the miraculous. Listener, said Almighty God, you are a miracle and the intricate details of your design within and about you, and yet society has taught you to dismiss these as the material world runs on money alone. Yet truly the most valuable possessions you could ever have cannot be bought. And where are you going? And you could venture every five-star resort. And all of these places created by God, the priceless setting with which to build upon, yet the greatest of these cannot compare to heaven. And this is the truth. Listener, said Almighty God, how do you get to heaven? There is no modern transportation sophisticated enough to take you there. Heaven is achieved by the daily choices one makes over the course of one's life. And we pause. And then Almighty God said, Is circumstance a factor in God's choice for your future, your final destination, Circumstance, irrelevant. Listener, said Almighty God, your life is priceless, a treasure given you at birth, and the devil despises the creations of God and vehemently wants to destroy these from the inside out through the gateway of your ears to make you believe you're worthless when you're priceless. You are a miracle and human... Whoever tries to make you feel otherwise is not telling you the truth. Listener, said Almighty God, you have within you the kingdom of God. And you are, you are a great creator. And whoever says you're not is not telling you the truth. A human being is made in the image of God with the miraculous ability to create. And this is true for each and every human, and this is the truth. There are humans who seek to destroy other humans. And this is the work of the devil, and these pay for the price of hell for this. Listener said, Almighty God, wisdom now comes to you, and for you, and the wise are few, and only the wise Seek the wisdom of God. Listen to it beyond hearing. Receive this wisdom and incorporate it and practice it. And the wise are few. This is not rhetoric for a fancy speech. This is the truth of everyday living. Your human body is a vessel for the spirit of life, ordained for you at birth. And statistically speaking, a miracle of creation and statistically speaking, your chances of heaven are slim because most people hate other people and the haters belong in hell. I'm just a messenger, sorry. And then Almighty God said, listener, here's a very simple litmus for you. Check your mood and your attitude and if you're hating, then you know your final destination. Hate is a contagious disease spread by hating. 
and haters hate at people. And as hate is received, this provocation converts loving peacemakers into haters, unless the peacemakers understand what is going on and deliberately intercede with the words, world peace. And world peace is a command, a proclamation, proactive leadership position, intervention, redirection, conversion for world peace instead. Listener, said Almighty God, you're truly a world leader if you choose to be in your world, and the planet of Earth is made of many worlds within each home, each business, each school, and each room within each is a world within a world within a world, reminiscent of microscopes to telescopes. Each human being endowed with the kingdom of the human body and its unique thoughts and decisions and actions and all of these owned by the captain of the ship, and you are. Listener, said Almighty God, you must choose to either follow or lead, and where are you going? And you may as well wear a blindfold. From whom do you seek advice? And we pause, said Almighty God. And what is your life worth to you? And if you knew the truth, you would realize the treasure you have inside. But who will you listen to? And then Almighty God offered a parable. And Almighty God said, and the child brings a crayon picture to his parent. And the parent wads it and tosses it into the refuse. And the child shrugs and walks away. Almighty God created you, his crayon picture. And what do you choose to do with this? Is this valuable to you? Do you take care of this or judge it instead? And the creator and his creations, period, said Almighty God. And then Almighty God said, God watches over the earth, this exquisite miracle, and watches his creations destroy it and themselves, and decides the future is world peace, and the destroyers will become either hellbound or animals for their next life and only the creators of world peace will be endowed with the gift of heaven or humanhood in the next, said Almighty God. And again, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> and then Almighty God said, listener, you do not have to believe this until you do. And then Almighty God turned to his greatest pride and joy, Jesus Christ, and ask Jesus if he would please offer a practical application of these concepts. And Jesus said, the time has come to know the truth. You are a miracle, priceless in value. Although the devil has convinced many people the deception that they're worthless when they're priceless, all of them, and all human beings are creations made by God in the image of God, said Jesus. And then Jesus said, listener, the time has come to begin taking care of yourself. And the past is history, but this is a new day to begin from within and forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive those who have hurt you, and begin again and take care with healthy food and drink and words for your soul and a cleansing prayer to seek the wisdom of God to guide your life and this the very best thing you could ever do for yourself said Jesus 
God knows beyond the most sophisticated intelligence of past, present, and future events and what is best for you specifically. And God works in mysterious ways. And then Jesus offered a prayer to take care of your kingdom. Jesus said, Almighty God, we humbly seek your guidance, wisdom, forgiveness, and protection for the precious lives we've been given, to remember always to never take these for granted. Please help us to know and to show us how to take better care of our bodies, our souls, and our minds, to keep us healthy, safe, wealthy, and wise. Amen and a women. Thank you, Almighty God and Jesus Christ. I appreciate your time, and with the very best of intentions, I wish for you world peace.